We have uh, many education portfolio that we currently working on. We've just finished launching the education strategy for Iraq 2022-2031, which was launched on the 15th of May under the patronage of the prime ministers and uh, all the relevant ministers. We work on this strategy for the last three years. It was a very ambitious strategy and the Prime Minister himself in his government agenda referred to the education as part of government agenda for, for the next four years, his term, and he actually promised to allocate funding for all the projects and programs starting from early childhood education, basic education, higher education, research and development as well. So it's part of the government agenda and we look across different levels of education. There is some emphasis on the TEVIT, technical vocational education as well. And during the launch, the Prime Minister initiated his new initiative for sending 5,000 Iraqi abroad to get their postgraduate degree, master, and PhD in the subjects that matter for the strategic need of the country. Across range of disciplines, from water, resources and management, oil and gas, electricity, and so many other subjects related to the environment and to water management, sewage management, and across many other disciplines really, which are quite relevant to the government agenda. And, and we came here to IBBC really to present the education sector, as well as, as I mentioned in my speech this morning, to give the audience some overview about the government achievement for the last six months, which is addressed last week by the Prime Minister in his cabinet meeting to assess the government agenda and in his opening session urging the ministers to open doors and heart for the businesses and private sectors and, and to facilitate uh, uh, their work as well as strong link with the industry and also international uh, company. So that's why I mentioned this morning now is the time actually right to do business in Iraq especially with the security the improvement um, as well as uh, with the political stability in the country um, as well as social cohesion. These three pillars are crucial for the investors and uh, it's time I think for the British companies to accelerate their presence in Iraq and start really to forge the strong link as the IBBC logo is, is, is uh, both for, for building Iraq, British businessmen as well as their Iraqi counterparts and the institution. So we hope that the outcome of this conference or meeting will yield its uh, tangible fruits in the very close future.